What is the rear wheel range of the electric Peugeot 208? My name is Bastia and welcome to Recharging. I am standing here in the shade because over there in the sun it is around 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it is pretty hot today. But anyway, the facelifted electric Peugeot 208. That also means the new drivetrain. Well, not necessarily, because apparently the old drivetrain is also still available. But this car has the new drivetrain. More efficient, more powerful. 156 horsepower, 51 kilowatt hour battery pack and a WLTP range of around 400 kilometers. And will I reach that today? I might, because again, it is hot. It is a bit windy though, so I am not sure. So how will the test go? Well, I will do one test at 100 km per hour and during that test I will also calculate how much energy I can get out of the battery pack. Then I will do a consumption run at 90 km per hour to simulate those mixed driving conditions. And I will do one consumption run at 130 km per hour. Based on those consumptions and how much energy I can get out of the battery, you have the range. And that is how I will work. So again, the weather. During my 90 and 130 km per hour consumption run, it will be around 20 degrees Celsius because I will do that during the evening. But during my 100 km per hour test, it will be around 25 degrees Celsius. So, let's go! Alright, so my plans changed a little bit as you can see because it is currently dark, it is evening and I was planning to do my 100 km per hour test during the day. But things went a little bit different, so here I am driving in the evening. But for the temperature it doesn't matter because it is currently 21.45 and it is still 25 degrees Celsius outside. Yeah, it's hot. It's really hot today. But anyway, the car has used 10% state of charge and on that 10% I have driven 38 kilometers. So the range it seems like right now is 380 kilometers. But I have to say I do have tailwind at the moment. Which also means the consumption is really low because of tailwind. I'm currently using 13.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers earlier it was 14 but at the moment 13.5 which is really low but when i turn around it will go up the consumption will go up i think in the end i will end up with around 360 kilometers of range but overall the the new and improved drivetrain of stellantis is a efficient drivetrain it is only because of the relatively small battery pack of around 48 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. We will see how much I can get out, how much I can get out of the battery, but it should be around 48. That the range is relatively low. And for a compact car like the 208, it matters less because well, it is a compact car. Overall, people drive less with a compact car, so if the range is lower, it matters less. But with a Peugeot 308 station wagon or the Opel Astra e station wagon, those are family cars that you take on holiday and stuff. You really want a little bit bigger battery pack than 60 or 65. With the same efficient drivetrain, that would be amazing. That would be a car I would buy. I really would. But I am not driving those cars. I'm driving the 208 and I am really happy driving it. Really happy. Anyway. In about five seconds, it's time for the next update. So here is the five seconds later update. And of course it isn't five seconds later. Well, for you it is, for me it isn't. Because the car has used 33% state of charge at the moment. And on that 33%, I have driven 123 kilometers. So the range, it seems like right now, is around 370 kilometers. I am also driving with headwind at the moment and the consumption has gone up from 13.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers to 13.9 to 14 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And I think that will be the end result somewhere around there. Hello. Jeez. Anyway, I think that will be the end result around 13.98 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I will turn around soon again go to my starting point and then it is time for the result. I am currently doing my 90 km per hour consumption run. I have just turned around and the average consumption at the moment is 13.6 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. And that is a pretty good number. 
this new improved drivetrain of the EMP platform of Stellantis is a pretty efficient drivetrain. Yes, it is. I am really happy with it. Um, going the other way, I had a positive elevation and currently I have a negative elevation. So maybe this 13.6 now will even get better. Yeah, really happy. This really seems like it can do the WLTP range and that is really good. Really good. I always like that. Anyway, I will go to my starting point and then I will do my 130 kilometers per hour consumption run. I have just turned around for my 130 kilometers per hour consumption run and everything is looking well. The average consumption at the moment is 21.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. I have a negative elevation, so it will only get better. Besides that, it is a compact car, but at 130 kilometers per hour, it still feels stable on the road. It is relatively quiet in here. I really like it. I really like this car. I am I'm really fond of it. Really, really I am. There's only one thing and if you want to know what then, well, watch my review. But the driving experience is great. It's amazing. I love compact cars. I love them. And the efficiency, well, is also great. Really, it's a really nice car. Anyway, um, let's get to the result then. All right, so I am done with my range test and I have to say the result is a bit surprising to be honest. It is not what I expected because during my 100 kilometers per hour test, I drove from 79% state of charge until 30%. So that means I've used 49%. On that 49%, I have driven 179 kilometers. So the range while driving 100 kilometers per hour is 365 kilometers which is really good because the WLTP range is 400 kilometers. So 365, really good, really good. But here is the surprising bit, because according to my calculation, because the average consumption during that test was 14.2 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. So according to my calculation, this car, or I could get 51.8 kilowatt hours out of the battery pack during my test and that 51.8 is more than Peugeot claims this car has because according to Peugeot it should have 51 kilowatt hours so again this is surprising it never happens that I get more than a manufacturer claims it does have is that proper English you know what I mean so again surprising result I don't think I made a mistake so I really don't know what the issue is here I really don't know but this is the number I will calculate with because yeah apparently this is what I can get out of the battery pack again it is a bit strange but maybe the number of Peugeot is a bit conservative this car is brand spanking new it has done 1750 kilometers so maybe Peugeot maybe they took in took into account a little bit of degradation I don't know to be honest all right then the result of the 90 kilometers per hour test 14.2 during the 100 kilometers per hour test is already a good result and during my 90 test it was even lower because there i had the average consumption of 12.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and i think that is the lowest result that i have ever got with a car that i have tested so well done stellantis well done it is because i have never driven a tesla yeah but it also means that while driving 90 kilometers per hour, you can get 414 kilometers of range with this car, which is more than the WLTP range, which again, well done Stellantis, well done. This drivetrain, this new and improved drivetrain is a efficient drivetrain, it just is. It also helps that this is a compact car, of course, because the Opel Astra E was consuming a little bit more with the same drivetrain. Watch that video there if you want to and then the result of the 130 kilometers per hour test there i had a average consumption of 20.5 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers so the range then is 253 kilometers which is again a good result because during my 90 and 130 kilometers per hour test it was more windy than today it should have been more windy now but it isn't so when there is less wind and you are driving in summer spring the car will consume probably less than 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers while driving 130 kilometers per hour, which is 
again, really good, really good. It is just a efficient drivetrain. I like it. Yeah, I do like it. Yeah, keep also in mind, this is summer range, summer spring range in autumn and winter. Of course, you can get, of course, you get less than this. But again, I think this is a really good result. Well done, well done. It's just such a shame that for the bigger cars, the battery pack is relatively small. For this car, 51 kilowatt hours is fine. But if I drive an Opel Astra E or Peugeot 308, I would have liked 10, 15 kilowatt hours more in my battery. But anyway, it is what it is. And that is also the end of the video then. Thank you a lot for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And then as always, to be continued.